Hello ladies and gentlemen, Lizard Boy here. And for today, I actually got a review for you guys. And yes, I know it's been a while since I actually done that review, but this one I'm actually pretty excited for though because I got the another Godzilla Funko Pop, but this is the BAM exclusive though, which means Books a Million exclusive though. So I got this one at actually Books a Million and when I first saw it, I see it's got a different paint scheme on it though, a different paint to it though, design. Um, I don't know that much about this one though because I just saw it at Books a Million and it looked pretty cool looking though. It's basically just like the regular Funko Pops though, like the other Godzilla ones, like this one, just a different paint color. But I thought I'd go ahead and get this review started though by, see it's like a regular number of like a regular Funko Pop, you see the window in the front, you see the figure. I mean, it is a little damaged right here, though, sad to say. But, but just is okay. On the side, you get Godzilla himself. Back, same thing, which I do love the back, though. You see the old Godzilla poster and his name right there. On the side, you get Godzilla's name, and you see the pop on the side. So yeah, let's go ahead and actually get this guy right out of the box. Okay, so we got him out of the box. Um, first off, it's really different from the other one, so I have to say. So the uh, let's talk about the paint scheme. The I don't know why I keep saying that. The body, the paint though, is the body structure. As you can see, like this is just like a little bit of a different color to the body though. Like it gets like this slight grayish. But this one, this is like really, really get on the gray right here and. What's interesting is that everything else is white, you get the gray body, but like the dorsal fins, they're purple. So I'm trying to figure out if they're trying to recreate like Shin Godzilla though, when he does the, uh, I have the figure right here, because there's a scene, spoiler alert, that his fins turn purple. So I'm trying to figure out like, were they trying to go with that concept though? That I understand, but the um, the eyes remind me of the GMK Godzilla though, which is, yeah, that's pretty interesting though. But I like the white that's on the fingers and the toes though, which is pretty cool. And I don't know if you guys can see, the inside of it's trying to look like it's purple too. I don't know if you guys can't see that though. And I have to say, we were painting the fence. They did one little bit of a crappy job though, to be honest though. You guys can see that though. But that is like straight up purple though, which is interesting. Which I understand they're trying to go for that Shin Godzilla look though, but like trying to make it look like the figure though, like I have right there. Uh, but it's just a regular standard pop though, and then you get the just a bit bigger than the other one, so of course Godzilla's bigger though. Um. Nothing really too much. You see the scene where they try to attach the head to the figure though right here, which is I'm not too worried about that. Um The nostrils, like I have to say the look at the nostrils though, which is actually pretty interesting. They well detail on that too though. And the scale I mean you can tell the whole body the scales his scales are actually really nice though too, they're just the right groove and everything like that. You got his tail sticking out the point upward though, just to make him fit in the box. Um, nothing too much to complain about. I mean, except for the paint job on the back though for his fins. They look a little crappy though. But not too bad. I like the shade of purple that's on the sides though. Like I see his head right there. A nice. The claws are really nice though. I like the claws though, how they're very. Really to attack though, like everything like that for him. Um, the mouth is okay, and the paint, the paint job is just like they just fill it in though, but it's not too bad, like the other ones though. I mean, those eyes are just white eyes though, which remind me of the GMK Godzilla, which is surprisingly though. Um. Yeah, I don't have nothing bad to say about this figure, though. It's really awesome, though. 
And this is actually a Books A Million exclusive, though, which is pretty interesting that they have it, though. Um, I wish I knew the background story of this guy when they came up with this idea, that's for sure. Uh, just a nice, basically just a regular Funko Pop, just a different color scheme to it, though. Designed to it. Just like the other ones, just like that one right there. But, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below, and... Let me know if you guys are planning on getting this, though. I can get some more background information on this guy right here. But, thank you guys so much for watching this. I'll see you guys, and talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!